Hey, what's up everyone? We're back with another quick tutorial in Cubase. It's the often overlooked thing on your track inspector called MIDI modifiers. We're gonna check them out. Let's do it. So when you open up Cubase and you're using your tracks, you'll often see this, this is the default. And there's a bunch of stuff down here. And uh, one of the things that you may never have used, I, I actually have never used it, but it's there. And I wanted to get into it today. It's the MIDI modifier section, because I actually recently used this on a project to add slight velocity differences in a ringing like quarter note tom that I wanted to bring out. So I didn't want to go in and mouse warrior it and change the velocities. So I just assigned a random velocity to it in the MIDI modifier and it worked perfectly. So if you don't know what MIDI modifiers are, they're right here and there's several options, we'll get into it. I have uh, Haley on Sonic open with this piano. So we'll just get in here and we'll draw in quarter notes at C or G3. Okay. So we have four quarter notes. Uh, that took a little longer than it should have, but whatever. Okay, so that's four quarter notes. They're all at 100 velocity. I'm gonna bring them down to 80, just to... And that's to just control shift and then drag with the mouse. Uh, that can lower the velocity of whatever notes you have uh, selected. So we have uh, four Gs at 80. So the first uh, MIDI modifier key we get is transpose. So we can make it a G to a G sharp, to an A, to an A sharp, to a B. So let's uh, G sharp. A. A sharp. So it will transpose every single note that is in the MIDI section or on the MIDI track actually that you're working with. So that one's a good one if you want to transpose the whole thing, if you want to play it in C major or A minor or something and then make it a crazy chord that you're not quite as fluent in, you can use the transpose function. There's velocity shift. So as you remember, we're at 80. The velocity of all these notes is at 80. You can see that right up here. So if I wanted all the velocity of all the notes to be at 90, I could just add 10. Or 100, I add 20. Or 127, I add 57. Wait, 47. Or I could take it down to a velocity of 50 by going negative 30. So if you want to lower the velocity of uh, the entire MIDI track, you can do it here with velocity shift. So transpose and velocity are pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. Then you have velocity compression, and this is basically just uh, handles velocity on a ratio. Uh, two to one would be double, one to two would be half, so we can hear that like so. And then we have, let's go back to normal with this. And then we have length compression, and this one's cool. Like, so these are, I think, 16th note long. So if I wanted them to be an eighth note long, I would make it two to one. Or if I wanted them to be a 32nd note long, I'd make it one to two. Or a full quarter note long, I'd make it four to one. So you can affect the length of all the notes. That's pretty cool. And then we get into the fun stuff for real. We have the randomizers. So you can randomize the position. The pitch is a fun one. So you can have it go down five or let's do 10, negative 10 and we'll do positive 10. So this can be any pitch in the 20 semitones between 10 notes before G. So A2 and F4, <laughs> I can do math. Here we go, so here it is. And of course you can randomize velocity as well. So we can have it go down from maybe negative 10 to, to 40.
And then there's the range. There's velocity filter limits and velocity filters, note limits and note filters. And what that is great for is like if you don't want any flubbed notes and you typically hit those at a lower velocity, you can say like velocity has to exceed 40 for it to even register. That's what a velocity filter does. Now a velocity limiter does if uh, if you hit a note and it's at 20, the, it'll actually bump up the velocity to 40. So you can set a range, like I only want my notes to be between 75 and 100. Well, anything below 75 will become 75, and anything above 100 will be pushed down to 100. So that's uh, how the velocity filter works. The note limit and the note filter works on the same principle, except for you set a range, like I want C0 to A3. Anything you play below that will be pushed up to... C0, anything you play above that will be pushed down to C3. Or if you filter them, anything you play above and below that will be filtered out. And this last section is for her mode tuning, HMT. And to be completely honest, I don't know what that is, so I'm not going to cover it today. So this has been the MIDI modifiers in Cubase. So I hope you all enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, feel free to like or subscribe and take care of yourselves. Have a good day, everyone. Peace. Peace.